Okay guys, I'm gonna shoot a quick little video. This uh, barn find, and we have the pictures to prove it. 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 P code 390 high performance. Um, this car was last licensed in 1988 in Missouri. Um, the guy used to drag race it, but we feel that he actually used it as a daily driver because it has a trailer hitch on the back of it also. And in some of the documentation where he shows where he changed the oil and had exhaust and all that fixed on it as well. But anyways, it's got four brand new tires on it. It's a roller. The engine's not stuck. It has the original 390 in it with a top loader four speed, factory shifter, all that cool stuff still on it. It doesn't look like it's ever been abused. Um, it's got some really cool patina. The paint's baked on the hood and the top of the fenders and the top and trunk like it's supposed to be from years of use. All of the glass is in excellent shape. It is tinted glass. The only thing I see in the windshield is a little, little fleck right there, which is no big deal. It still has all the car light glass in it. Um, I'm going to push in on that. I'm going to open the doors here. And uh, carpet's been pulled. The door panels are in really good shape. The seats will clean up. They've got some wear. I mean, they are 56 years old. When I'm 56, I'll have some wear as well. Um, it does have the original factory uh, top loader shifter for a bench seat with a reverse lock lockout. It's had these extra gauges added to it when he used to race it, but they didn't butcher anything when they used it. Um, I think that's a sun tack, but the glass is all faded out. Dash is cracked as they normally are. Um, driver's side floorboard. This is the rust in it. I'll get over to the passenger side here in just a few minutes. Back floorboards are just as nice as can be. They're, they're solid. Uh, let me look under the seat here. They still had the rear seat belts. The back seats, same way, just as solid as, as could be. And this thing didn't sit in an old, old hay barn. It sat in a, it's in a shop is what it sat in. Um, there's some rust down there at the bottom. As can be inspected from a car this age. Back quarter panel. It's got a hickey here on the back quarter. We're going to go back up front. Um. <laughs> it does have the um, remote. remote trunk release, which I guess what was an option back, back then. The driver's door does hang, hang up on the front fender. That's just because the fender's loose on the bottom. There's no there's no damage. It's just it just hang that fender's loose. You have the keys to the trunk. You have the trunk key. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Duh. He pulled the re remote. That, that works. Inside of the trunk. It's got some rust in the back driver's side. It's had a patch many, many years ago put over there. And then the same on the other side. And then there's some rust right here. It has the original spare tire. It retains all its original equipment. Um, it was, the car was originally ran, Rangoon Red. It's got a really cool trailer hitch on the back. So you know this car was actually used. And we have the extra tail, tail panel for this piece where they had their trailer lights hook, hooked up. He's got it there. Passenger side quarter, all the trim's in really good shape. It does have rust at the bottom. Both trunk drop-offs have rust in them as well. Rust in the front. And this spot here, there was a tree branch fell on it. And they buffed it out for some, some reason at some point. Um, I think this would, would pull out. I would hate to get in on the inside. Because the, the, the headliner is in such good shape, it's just dirty. 
has the original sun visors they are white the door sill plates we have both of those here's the rust in the passenger side floorboard rear floorboard door panels in really really good shape as well all the trims in really good shape the doors open and close really well <laughs> the headlight rings are just sitting on it the guy we got it from didn't didn't have them on there they're on there just just for pictures the grill's nice I'm gonna pause this and we're gonna open the hood has the original engine in it we have the air cleaner for it as well um, it's had some 70s go fast goodies put on it we do have the radiator for it the fan um, the carburetor he does have the original carburetor we just don't don't have a picture of it right now uh, but the carburetor that is on it is off a 66 or 67 Fairlane GT four-speed car engines like I said engines not stuck battery tray is not rusted out it's a power brake car It has the chrome dress-up kit for it. it. Has the tag up front. This VIN matches the door VIN. None of that's been changed. It still has the little shorty headers on it, cast iron shorty headers. It has been switched to an alternator at some point in its life, but it doesn't look like they butchered anything when they did it. Here's the, the chrome radiator cover. Anyway, guys, this is it. It's a roller. It's not stuck. I have a couple other pieces right here. Here's the, the radiator the, for, the side. for the driver's side fender, radiator, um, the horns, the hubcaps. And then there's just some other miscellaneous pieces. It does have the correct top loader in it with the early narrow pattern. But it's got great patina this thing if it were wet sanded and then waxed it would look so cool i think what makes it even cooler is it's a bench seat four speed car it's a one owner missouri title. with a missouri title that's it